This is Real News Media TV, coverage you can trust. Please like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Select all for daily news updates. Good afternoon, my Real News Media TV family. Welcome back to the channel for another news update for June 20, 2023. And in the news this afternoon, police probing Spanish Dawn Road murder. The police are probing the killing of a man along Spanish Town Road in Kingston. He is yet to be identified. A search is on to capture his attacker. The deceased is of dark complexion, medium build, about 5 feet 9 inches tall, and appears to be in his late 30s. Reports from the Denham Town Police are that about 10 o'clock on Sunday morning, the deceased and another man had an altercation, during which a knife was used to stab him multiple times. According to the police, the suspect ran from the scene and minutes later returned with a firearm which he also used to shoot the already injured man before escaping in the area. The police were summoned and the injured man was taken to the hospital where he was pronounced dead. Detectives are asking anyone who may be able to identify the body or assist with their investigation to contact the Denham Town Criminal Investigations Branch at 876-948-6443 police 119 emergency number or the nearest police station. Security guards arrested after gun seizure in St. James Two St. James security guards were taken into custody on Monday following the seizure of an illegal gun along with a round of ammunition during a traffic stop in downtown Montego Bay. It is reported that about 1 p.m., the police were carrying out a vehicular spot check in the area when they signaled the driver of a white Toyota Probox motorcar to stop. The driver complied and the vehicle was searched. During the search, a Taros pistol fitted with a magazine containing a .380 round was reportedly discovered, according to the police. The male and the female guards were arrested in connection with the seizure. Their identities are being withheld pending further investigation. Security guard withdraws a case against the FLA after gun license restored. A security guard whose firearm license was revoked in April 2021 by the Firearm Licensing Authority withdrew his application last week in the Supreme Court for leave to go to the Judicial Review Court shortly after being informed that the review board had allowed his appeal and his license was restored. But his lawyer, Hugh Wildman, said yesterday that the Firearms Act mandates that the appeal against a revocation of license must be reviewed within 90 days, and in many cases that was not to be done. Wildman said that in the case of the security guard, he waited for two years before he got a response from the review board, and that was on the very morning that his application was set for hearing before the Supreme Court. Wildman said his client, who is also a businessman, had taken the matter to the Supreme Court in August 2022 seeking leave to go to the Judicial Review Court to quash the decision to revoke his license. The FLA, the Review Board, and the Minister of National Security were the respondents in the matter. Wildman said that the failure on the part of the Review Board to abide by the law has resulted in persons being put to great expense to take matters before the Supreme Court. The security guard, who is a former member of the Jamaica Defense Force, said in his affidavit that he was at work at a premises in Montego Bay in January 2018, when an intruder came onto the premises about 4.30 a.m. and fired a shot. The security guard took cover and, based on his military training, he fired his gun twice in the ground to scare the gunman. The police interviewed him, took his firearm, and when he made repeated requests for his firearm, the police told him that it was sent in January 2018 to the FLA. He said he made checks at the FLA, but the security guard said, he was informed that the matter was being investigated. He was subsequently informed on April 21, 2021, that the FLA had revoked his license, and he appealed it to the review board. After waiting and getting no response, the security guard filed an application in the Supreme Court in August 2022. He had contended in court documents that the act of the respondents in revoking my firearm license and not indicating the reason for the revocation amounted to a breach of my right under the Firearms Act. He said in his affidavit that both the review board and the minister failed to carry out their statutory duty in ensuring that his appeal was heard and determined in the statutorily prescribed period and were therefore in breach of their statutory obligation. 
BOJ looking into new banknotes defect claims. The Bank of Jamaica has indicated that members of the public who encounter issues with the new banknotes can reach out to the central bank. The BOJ says all matters will be investigated and remedial action taken where necessary. The central bank made the indication while responding to a video posted on Twitter of a woman who claimed that defects emerged after she came into possession of one of the new banknotes. We have reached out to conduct an investigation into the matter, it said in response to the post. If anyone else has this experience, they can come down to the bank to have the banknote tested and replaced if it is deemed genuine, added the central bank. The new banknotes were introduced the last week. Med Office Keeping an Eye on Tropical Storm Brett Jamaicans are being encouraged to monitor the progress of Tropical Storm Brett over the next few days as it could impact the country. The Meteorological Services branch says early projections are that the storm may move closer to Jamaica by Monday of next week. It says that Brett could become a threat as a hurricane entering the Caribbean on Friday and weaken closer to Jamaica thereafter. Brett had maximum sustained winds of 40 miles per hour and was moving across the Atlantic Ocean at 21 miles per hour according to the National Hurricane Center in Miami, which warned that it's been unable to get a better handle on the system's intensity and the size. The storm was located some 945 miles east of the Windward Islands and is expected to pummel some eastern Caribbean islands later Thursday at near hurricane strength. Dominica's Meteorological Service said Tuesday that the storm poses a high threat to the island and warned of landslides, flooding and waves of up to 12 feet or 4 meters. Meanwhile, the Hurricane Center urged people in the Lesser Antilles, Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands to closely monitor the storm and have their hurricane plans in place. The storm formed a Monday, an early and aggressive start to the Atlantic hurricane season that began on June 1. Fire at the St. Anne's Bay Basic School A section of the St. Anne's Bay Basic School caught a fire early Tuesday morning. No injury was reported. Public Relations Officer for the Jamaica Fire Brigade, Emilio Ibanks, told the news that they received the call around 4.50 a.m. He said three units were dispatched to the location. The cause of the blaze is not yet known. PNP Councillor Welcomes a Salary Increase People's National Party Councillor for Beechertown, St. Anne, Ian Bell, has welcomed the increase in pay for members of the political directorate. Mr. Bell, speaking at a PNP divisional meeting in St. Anne on Sunday, declared that he had worked harder for the increase and, furthermore, that the increase will go a far way in assisting his constituents. The salary increase arose out of the public sector compensation review, which saw members of the political directorate benefiting from upwards of 200% pay raise. This has resulted in an outcry from sections of the society who believe the increase is too much given that the civil servants receive the significantly less. I didn't know nothing about the raise with the offer councillors. I didn't know about it. I was not part of it. But when I see the people them down there, we say them a council, how they work, what they are doing. Me now go make them get the pay when me now get <laughs> Come on, Lina, if you understand where I'm going, the last election on that side is nine of them over there is new councillors first they're going there. And me down there 15 years now, and I hard labor me they do. And if them don't get the money, me go and take for me. But what I can tell you, I have more to bury then. I have more school fee to pay when I get this money. I have more zinc to buy and pry to buy when I get this money. But if them get it and they support it, let me get it and help the people with it. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe and hit the notification bell. Select all for daily news updates.